Uh, okay, my name is Asad Yaqub, and I'm going to conduct your IELTS speaking test. Are you ready for that? Yes, I'm ready. All right. Uh, before we start, let me tell you, Mustain has recently achieved uh, 7.5 in IELTS speaking, and uh, he is here to demonstrate his English and the way he's going to answer. If you answer like him, you can easily get 7.5. So let's start. Do you work or study? I am a student at the moment and I am pursuing my career by moving to a foreign country. All right. Uh, have you traveled a lot by plane? Uh, yes. Uh, to be exact, I have traveled eight times by airplane and it was great every single time I got to see new sceneries and I was startled at all of my air voyages actually. Okay. Why do you think some people enjoy traveling by plane? Uh, it is quite sure that people enjoy traveling by the airplane because of the spectacular views that uh, you are able to see. And it's just a whole different feeling when you're flying from the ground and then landing in a different country. It just feels so different. Okay. Would you like to live near an airport? Actually, I do live near an airport and I would say that it's a very big problem. So in the future, if I had a chance to change my house, I would prefer a house that is quite at a distance from the airport. Okay. In the future, do you think that you will travel by plane more often? Uh, yes, I'm sure I would be traveling more often by airplane because I'm moving to a foreign country. And every time I'll have to come back to my homeland, I'll need an airplane to travel. So therefore, I would say that, yes, I'll be having many more air trips in the upcoming days. Okay. Now we move on to IELTS speaking part two. You will have to talk about the topic for one to two minutes. You have one minute to think about what you are going to say. You can make some notes to help you if you wish. All right. You will now have to speak on this topic for one to two minutes. Uh, well, there are not quite a lot of people in my country who have won World Cups or they have achieved such big achievements. But today I would like to talk about a specific person who has actually brightened the entire country's name. He is Arshad Nadeem, who in 2024, I believe, has won the Olympic World Cup. And it was for a uh, it was for a challenge in which they had to throw the spear and the one who threw the spear the most furthest was the winner. So Arshad Nadeem, he just startled everyone with his shocking performance and to achieve this, he actually did a lot. He practiced for many years, I had heard in an interview of his. Other than practicing for many years, he kept his diet on point and moreover, he was quite keen on making his country's name bright and when he achieved it, he received a gold medal from in Olympics actually, which was for the country and the entire nation was much happy and many big companies, the CEOs of big companies, they gave Arshad Nadeem different type of gifts, which included cars, and also some properties and furthermore he received a lot of cash prices. I to be honest felt very happy as this was a very big achievement and in many years no one was able to do it successfully but this one specific person from a small part of my country actually was able to do it and he excelled in this thing. So I would say that it was a great achievement and I am very happy about it as okay. my nation is. All right. Thank you so much. We now move on to IELTS speaking part three. Uh, what types of school prizes do children in your country receive? Uh, there are different type of prizes that children get from their academic institutions. But the most common ones are cups that are made up of silver or, and are most of the time in golden color. So they win that on their achievements. Okay. What do you think are the advantages of rewarding school children for good work. This motivates the students and they're actually quite determined on getting another medal or another gift. So they work harder and the next time they achieve it again. So I believe that it keeps the spirit up and the students are quite warm and they're determined to win this thing again. So I believe it keeps the students very much energetic. Okay. Do you agree that it is more important for children to receive rewards from their parents than from teachers? 
Uh, yes, I am sure that I that this is very important because a uh, student, the way a children, uh, the way a child actually sees the parents is quite different from teachers. Parents are most of the time seen as role models. So, if the parents are rewarding the students or the children, the students will be quite much motivated and they'll be actually able to achieve more and more. Okay. Do you think that some sports people are paid too much money? I know I don't think so because it is quite hard to get on that specific echelon of that sports player. So if a person is on that level, they truly deserve the payment or the award that they're being given. So I don't agree to this statement. Okay. Should everyone on a team get the same prize money when they win? I know everyone should be rewarded in a different way as it depends truly on their efforts first of all and secondly it also depends on what their level is, how much mature they are in that specific field so it should be different from person to person. Okay, do you agree with the view that in sport taking part is more important than winning? Uh, I don't think so because only the winner is viewed or the winner is most highlighted so it is quite important to win in a specific sport than just to participate in it because only the winner is the one who gets the entire credit and the rest of the team is just seen as a number, not a name. Okay, that is the end of your IELTS speaking test. Well, guys, with this speaking, Mustain has achieved 7.5 band in IELTS speaking not only once but twice. Once in uh, normal IELTS and once in UKVI. So, Mustain. Thank you so much. Okay. By the way, Mustain is traveling to Canada very soon. He's got the visa and he is going to pursue his studies in a Canadian university. We wish you best of luck. Thank Mustain. you so much. Okay. That's all, guys. They also teach IELTS online all over the world and in campus in Lahore. We offer uh, uh, IELTS test booking service. We offer PTE online classes. We offer single module preparation and study plans for IELTS preparation. If you want to get any of these services, our WhatsApp numbers are given. You can contact us. Thank you so much. Once again, Asad Yaqub and Mustain Asad. We wish you best of luck. Take care. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz.